Hey, Shalom, Shalom, Yabashim, Ashab, Ashim, Akar, Kadash, Brakat, Thumb. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Blessings to the elect of Yashia And salutations and blessings to you, Akim, out there enduring this truth across the four corners of the earth. Looking forward to the downfall and destruction of Babylon, also known as America today. All right. Uh, as you can see in the title, you know, welcome to New America. <laughs> I like that. I like that. I like that. Man, this is, you know, I don't really want to say the new norm, but that's what it is, man. It's, it's just, all right, just, just going over the things. Just looking at how, how beautiful the Lord is uh, uh, doing things, man. You know, in this year 2020, as they call it, you know, but deemed by Apostle Hard, you know, the year of prophecy. And that's what the Mosai Yal Bashim Yal Shai is, is showing. He's manifesting, I would say. He's manifesting. He's bringing it to reality. He's bringing it from under the cover, you know. He's putting it out there in the light. Now, um, it's like how... Hey, <laughs> I, might as, I might as well. <laughs> Come on, y'all, my shit outside. Oh, let me see. What, what is it? What is it? What is it? Five? Mm, I think it's three. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, let me see. Oh, yep. There you go. Hey, uh, Amos three and six. It says, shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? Hey, and this is the memorial of the, of the trumpets, man. All right. This is the blowing of the trumpets at this moment, you know, and like many brothers were saying, you know, it, it's, it's it blowing a the trumpet. They blew the trumpets for what? Different things, you know, feast days, uh, danger. All right. <laughs> It says, uh, shall, shall there be evil in a city and the most high Yahweh hath not done it because he controls everything, both sides, got a left hand side and a right hand side. He's the one that's causing all of this to all of this to go down, man. All right. From the coronavirus to them pushing and, and, and broadcasting, in a sense, the microchip. All right, which is the mark of the beast, according to the scriptures, written in Revelation, the 16th chapter, I believe, 13th chapter, 16th verse. All right. And he's the one that's causing all of this. You know, he 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 said he he kill it and make it the live man. Tells you that in, in Samuel, the second chapter. All right. So anything going on within this earth, whether there's a plague or a pandemic or epidemic or. Uh, a tsunami or, or a fire tornado, um, wildfires, whatever it is, plane crash, bullet with no name, all of that <laughs> is due to the Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay? It says, Surely the Lord Yahweh will do nothing but he revealed his secrets unto his servants, the prophets. Right? And that's what that's why we're able to be comfort in these times man yeah we still going through whatever we're going through but we we have hope okay we have hope see some people are hoping in america that it new america <laughs> that it's going to bounce back all right but even with them hoping in that they they just they don't know they don't know i, I was talking with a guy last night man and he yeah man it's this fucking school shit man you know i work third shift I work 10 to 6, and then I got to go be up with my daughter from 8 to 4 so she can do the school. I mean, that shit's terrible. You know, they it's not like they considered, you know, I would say it's not like they gave a damn about considering people and their schedules and, you know, whether you got to send your kids to daycare and, you know, exposing them more to the coronavirus or whatever. They just said, look, this is how we're going to do this. And ultimately, I believe it's, it's track, it's census, all right? The census in itself. Here it is. They able to fund. I can't speak for other states in particular, but I know OPS. OPS here where we stay at is is the poor, basically. You know what I'm saying? That's Jake. You know, they got District 66. That's where Esau is at. And since I've been in high school, you know, when I was back in high school about 12 years ago, all right, they was taking home laptops, upgraded laptops throughout the years, tablets and iPads. Now, all of a sudden, you know, through the corona, they they was able to grant all the OPS. You know, I believe they said like 54,000. I just briefly looked at the article, like 54,000 students, if I'm not mistaken. But nonetheless, 
they was able to grant them due to the corona, man. You know? And I think it has something to do with the census and just, you know, trying to see how many people is in your house, how you live in, and, and who's going to be responsible, all of that, man. Okay? Because, like, the spirit is out there, man. They, they ready to... They ready to roll. They are ready to roll. But it says, The lion has a roar. Who will not fear? The most high. Yahweh had spoken. Who can but prophesy? He's speaking right now by manifesting his prophecies. What we have talked about. What he allowed. What he, he opened up to. Uh, what he revealed. The secrets that he revealed unto us. And we spoke about them. And now he's speaking. You know. What did it say about the... About the uh, uh, where we where we where is that? Is it uh, lock it, man? My, let me see. It says uh, Habakkuk two and three. It says, "For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak." What vision? Huh? What vision? The prophecies, okay, and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it because it will surely come. It will not tarry, right? And for years, people have been calling us crazy, stupid, ignorant, wasting our time, dummies, bums, whatever. Whatever title they gave us, all right, for teaching this word, for enduring this word through Yahweh Bashem Shai, for being faithful in this word, for believing in this word, all right, for having faith in the salvation that we hope to receive. They've been, you know, uh, slandering us, man, whichever way, whatever case, all right, but hey. Who can but prophesy? So now that the Lord is manifesting these things, all right, how can we not help but say something? Yep. This is Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 12, verse 17. It says, For when men will not believe that thou art a full power, thou showest thy strength, which he's doing now. All right. They don't they don't know that it's the Heavenly Father just yet. Okay. They don't know that it's him just yet, but they will know. There's more to come, all right? It says, uh, <clears throat> and among them that know it, thou makest their boldness manifest. Standing stiffly, all right? Standing in great boldness for, for the name of the Heavenly Father, okay? We're, we're, <clears throat> we're allowed to stand even more bold because the things that the Lord... Uh, allowed us to uh, reveal unto us the secrets he revealed unto us is manifesting so we get to have that i told you so moment in a sense all well while still enduring and pushing for salvation man because we're not out of this all right but we just know that we at the end of this you know that the end of the end of this and the end of the end of the end of this you know and it, it hey rightfully so man every kingdom every empire that ever ruled was brought down. What makes America different? Because they they have technology, huh? That don't you know that that's not exempt. Here it is. You go into history class. You learn about all these great empires. They was great at that time for whatever reason. Yet they still fell. Yet they still was destroyed. Because the Halabashim Shai is going to establish an everlasting kingdom, right? Which is going to be. Yahweh Shai's kingdom, his only begotten son, with the with Yasha Allah, the Israelites being joint heirs, man. All right. So this is uh First Thessalonians chapter five, verse one. And I'm gonna just read a few verses and then close it on out. It says, But of the times and the seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. Yeah. But we still continue to put out these lessons and, and prophesy and, and edify through Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right, because it ain't we ain't done yet. <laughs> it's not over. Okay? Well, it's not time to clock out yet. We clock out at seven o'clock. It's six fifty seven basically. You know, we still we still on the clock. It says, uh, for when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them. As travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. And that's what it's going to be, man. Okay? Because when that when that travail come upon that, that woman with child, it just happens. All right? She know the closer that she's getting to the end of her her uh, pregnancy, that this, them contractions are going to kick in eventually. 
but she's not planning for him. It's not like, okay, I'm going to pick this date for him to happen because I got to do this. No, it just happened, man. All right? They just happened out of nowhere. It says, uh, but ye, brethren, wait, Salaki, I got to get some more off of there. It says, uh, for when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them. And that's what people, you know, are looking forward to. They looking at this, oh, look, we got a, a, a way to actually do school and, you know, as far as the teachers teaching and the students learning. And, and I had to deal with that today myself. And it's, 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 it's oh, man, it's, it's tedious, man. You know, it seems just oh so simple, you know, but you got, when you have younger kids, definitely if they can't be still, it's a whole different story, man. You might as well have sent the packets home. And allow the you know the parents to interact with them, all right. <clears throat> but what y'all want? Y'all want to track? Y'all want y'all want to get them senses yourselves, man? Cause ain't nobody filling them out. <laughs> it says, uh, verse four it says, "But ye brethren are not in darkness that the day should uh, that the day should overtake you as a thief. Ye are the children of the light and the children of day." We are not of the night nor of darkness, because the Lord revealed his secrets unto us. Therefore, let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober. For they that sleep, sleep in the night, and they that be drunken are drunken in the night. Drunken with what? The other philosophies, believing that America is going to bounce back, thinking Allah is going to save them, waiting on Buddha, waiting on, on, on whoever, man. All right. Only Yahweh Shem Shai can can give salvation of what he's causing to happen, man. He's more powerful than any of them idols and, and guys that other people worship, and he's causing this. So how can they stop him? Come on. It says, But let us who are of the day be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith and love, and for an helmet the hope of salvation. For the most high hath not appointed us to wrath, but to obtain salvation by our Lord Yahweh Shah Mashiach, who died for us, that whether we wake or sleep, we should live together with him. Yeah, as long as you strive for the truth unto death, man, and the Lord is going to fight for you. All right. The Lord is going to fight for you. It says, wherefore, comfort yourselves together and edify one another, meaning build up, even as also ye do. Meaning we already do these things, but continue in it. And we beseech you, brethren, to know them which labor among you and are over you in the Lord and admonish you and to esteem them very highly in love for their work's sake and be at peace among yourselves. Yeah, yeah. So that's hey, that's giving double honors to the apostles and elders. All right, giving honors to to your camp leaders, which are elders, you know, and, and trying to be and remain in order, man. Okay, this is this is what's coming. We we the Lord allow us to see what's coming. They're gonna chip people, attempt to chip people, vaccinate people, put people in concentration camps. Uh, uh what what what's the proper term for that? Um. I don't know, but man, you know, pretty much uh, artificial, I was just say artificial famine, you know, because it's going to be caused by man. They're going to do these things. All right. And, you know, but all of this is prophesied within the scripture. So, hey, welcome to New America, man. Call law. Y'all by Shem Yahushai, by Shem Wakar Kodash. Double honor to the apostle and elders of Great Millstone. Mawat Laba Ball. All right. And blessings and salutations to you, Akim, out there doing this truth across the four corners of the earth, as well as you women and children that follow. Hey, Shalom.